So Lens is a new feature that Pinterest is using right now to help people find things easier on Pinterest that, the, that they're looking for. And this is really powerful because this is right inside of the mobile app of Pinterest. That's the only way to use it. And if people are out in the store or maybe they're at a friend's house and they find something that they're interested in, all they have to do now is take a picture of it right on that will upload to Pinterest and the mobile app and help you locate the pins that are related to what is in the picture. So here's how you work uh, and use Lens. You open up your mobile app for Pinterest and you click on the search bar two times. So make sure to double click. And what you're gonna get is that little red circle with a camera inside. You wanna click on that. Um, but first you wanna, you could type in something to search, but go ahead and click on that camera instead. When you click on that camera, you're gonna get this little circle and you can take a picture by clicking on that circle of anything that is in viewable of that circle. It's gonna take a picture of something and then it's gonna start searching on Pinterest for things that are related to that. So in my experimentation, I just got my bananas out and just took a picture of my bananas. And you can see that it did pull up some really interesting articles about bananas. And you can definitely tell how um, Pinterest works search-wise because my bananas are pretty ripe. And they definitely searched for things that were, that were related to very ripe bananas. Um, that would be fascinating articles that I would really want to read. Those, those would definitely draw my interest and get my attention. But notice also the things that are totally unrelated that are keywords that are popping up from Pinterest. So yes, the bananas did pop up as a keyword, but there were products Keywords of products that were popping up that was interesting. Flats, shoes, ballet, wedges, ballet, flats. Um, so I thought that was fascinating because this is really good news for us business owners. If people really start using this lens, they're going to start finding your products a lot faster and a lot easier on Pinterest. So you definitely need to get your product pins and your pins and boards going on Pinterest. So what I did next was I took a picture of the front of a catalog that I received in, in the mail from a store. And it pulled up keywords right away that are pretty relevant, like the brand name Redken, shampoos, hair, shampoo, conditioner, color extend, different types of products in general. And you can see down below the immediate two pins that popped up because of lens going and finding that on Pinterest. And then, you know, those were okay pins, um, you know, of a single product of maybe what I'm looking for. But when I scrolled down on that little feed of suggested pins that Pinterest gave me according to the picture that I took through Lens, there were some pins that really jumped out at me that I would be more engaged with and more likely to click through. And I'm just wondering if at this point you can figure out what those might be. And would you rather engage with a pin that is a single product? It's a very small square um, image that's probably straight off of a store with just a bottle of shampoo or conditioner. Or do you want something that is brightly colored, has some wording and text on it that tells us more about the product, what it is, what it can do for us, what kind of problems it can solve. So if you said this very long pin that gets our attention is brightly colored pink, it's got the text, we call this text overlay on top, you are correct. That is definitely the pin that jumped out at me. And in the course, we're gonna discuss about how you can create those types of pins because they really do make a difference on what kind of pins are in Pinterest in order to get the most interest and attraction to your products.